Hello students, myself Kavita Misha from the LG Institute of Technology and I will teach you the subject that is vehicle maintenance and garage practice. Now this subject comes in automobile 7th semester of the GTU syllabus. This subject is also known as a VMGP that is vehicle maintenance and garage practice. Now this subject will give you the knowledge on the processes of the maintenance that will be used in the service centers or the workshop of the automobiles right we have learned about or we have heard about the services that we do in our vehicles right so in that vehicles that procedure for the service also the tools which will be required to service the vehicle will be learned in this subject now to start the subject or just for the introduction of the subject first we will know that this subject is the seventh semester automobile subject this subject should have a before knowledge or prior knowledge of the prerequisite subject that is an automobile system subject now this automobile system subjects was the syllabus in the semester 5 of gtu syllabus right we learned about the subject automobile systems in the semester 5 we did learn about the clutch system the transmission system the different uh, differentials excels the different layout of the vehicles so all the components we saw in the subject of automobile systems now the automobile system subject teaches you about the working and construction of the components now what we need to learn about is that the maintenance processes of those components right we learned about the working and construction now what we will see is the maintenance and repair processes required to repair or to maintain the component so that the vehicle life is longer and we can drive the vehicle in the smoother condition next we will see the importance of the subject or why to learn this subject right why this subject is important in our syllabus of the gtu total eight semesters why this subject so first thing is that the subject has the weightage of the five credits right it has the five credit weightage with comprising of the three credits for the theory and the two credits for the practical weightage the second thing is that we will see the useful processes for the maintenance right whenever we are doing the service of the vehicle or we are doing the maintenance of the particular vehicle then proper procedure should be known for the service right so those procedures for the servicing of the different components of the vehicle will be learned in the subject as well so for, from that you will have the better knowledge about the servicing of the vehicle for example if your vehicle breaks down on a service road or on the road while you are driving the vehicle and such if there is a problem uh, like a puncture in the tires right like a battery has been discharged so all these minor problems can be solved by an individual automobile engineer as well if you will have the knowledge of this subject the third thing we will learn is the information that is related to the garage or the service stations right in that information we will know about the tools which is used in the garages also the locations of the different components in the garages also the duties of all the staff in the garages so all the systems will be seen while we will see the information of the service station and the fourth topic will be the information related to the tools of the garage right the tools different types of instruments will be required for example whenever we are doing the wheel alignment process and to do that wheel alignment we will require a test rig which comprises the computer system right we might have heard about the wheel alignment system so whenever we require to do the wheel alignment on the vehicle then we will require a special test rig so all the instruments all the small tools all the big tools will be seen or will be classified in this subject as well so these four are the main topics or main points 
which will prove the importance of this subject that is cause that it has the five credit also the processes will be learned of the service also the information related to the service center will be known and the tools which will be used in the garage will be seen in this uh, subject as well next thing we will see is the objective of the subject right or we can say the application of the subject where this subject will be useful in the future to an individual engineer right as an automobile engineer this subject will always be helpful in the future right even if i don't want to go to the service station but this subject will provide you all the knowledge of the procedures of the different automobile components and the overrolling processes of the components as well the first thing we will see in this topic is the methods of the maintenance right the different methods used for the maintenance will be seen in this subject as well the next thing we will see is the overrolling processes now first let's understand the word overrolling now what is the meaning of the overrolling is that whenever we are doing the repairing of the component then the procedure will include the removal of the component after that the component will be disassembled after that the component will be repaired whatever process is required for the repairing will be done on them then again the component will be assembled and then that component will again be installed into the vehicle so this procedure of removing the component then after disassembling repairing assembling and installing again this procedure is known as the overhauling procedure so this procedure of the all the components of the automobile will be seen in this subject as well and that is the most important aspect of this subject right from that you will learn all the components repairing procedures the next thing is the different practices that that is required in the garage for example as a technician what you need to do as a workshop manager what you need to do as a supervisor of the technician what you need to do all the roles of the garage practices will be seen in this subject as well and the last one is the workshop management practices in that case the management practices or the level of the management the responsibility as a workshop manager or the documents which is required to be maintained in the service station all these things will be learned in the last topic of the workshop management practices as well so these are the main main four objectives of this subject that is maintenance methods overhauling process garage practices and workshop management practices next we will see about the overview of the syllabus that comprises in our gtu syllabus right the first chapter of the syllabus will be on the vehicle maintenance practices right the practices that is required to maintain the vehicle so whenever we require the maintenance of the vehicle we will ask mainly three question how to maintain what to maintain and when to maintain first how to maintain so we will learn how to maintain the vehicle components whenever we will learn the overhauling processes will that is done on the vehicle second thing is what to maintain right for example there is a problem of the engine stopping in the running condition or whenever we are driving the vehicle engine stops on the road condition so there can be problem of the overheating now to solve the overheating problem we need to check the radiator problem generally the problem will be in the radiator so we will know that what to maintain so in case of the overheating we need to maintain the radiator third one is when to maintain now this question is the most important question and this is the question that we should focus on more right generally the vehicle survey should be done at some regular intervals right for example in the four wheelers right now there is a interval of the survey at every 6 months or even at every year so at that intervals the maintenance of the vehicle should be done so that the vehicle runs smoothly and the life of the component of the vehicle will be higher so the condition of the vehicle will be better and it will prevent the breakdown of the vehicle right sometimes the breakdown can create the accidents and that can also create the injury to the drivers and passengers so to avoid the breakdown of the vehicle 
we need to maintain the vehicle at some regular intervals next thing will be learned is the measuring instruments used for vehicle repairing processes right whenever we are doing the inspection of the different components we will require some different kind of measurement measuring instruments now the measuring instruments which are used for the wear also measuring instrument used for the speed the measuring instrument used for the fuel consumption for the vibration and for the noise these five are the major characteristics of the vehicle that should be inspected or measured whenever required for example fuel consumption is always on the mind of the driver and passenger we want the high higher average of the vehicle now higher average of the vehicle will be obtained when the fuel consumption is lower so all these things can be measured with the different instruments the common instrument which are used for the wear is vernier caliper micrometer so this you can see in the background of this slide third chapter will be on the garage practices now in case of the garage practices we will pass on the types of garage right there are different types of garage some garages are roadside garages some garages are the authorized service station which is been authorized by the company that manufactures the vehicle right so these are the types of garages the tools which is required in the garage right we talked about the different tools which will be required for repairing of the different components next thing will be instruments for testing of different components for example if we want to test the vehicle uh, wheel balancing then there are components also on that thing we want to test the fuel injection then also there are test batches available for the fuel injection pump testing right so these are the testing instruments next the garage layout will be seen right the different arrangements of the components or the arrangements for the vehicle service will be done in the garage and that layouts will be seen in this way as well the next chapter is on the maintenance and overhauling right now this fourth chapter has the weightage of the 46 percentage in the gpu syllabus right and it is the biggest chapter and it is the most important chapter because in this chapter you will learn about the different processes that is required to repair the different components now i have divided this chapter into five parts the first part is the maintenance of the engine components now in case of the engine components the things that will be learned is the engine overhauling process cylinder service process valve service process the fuel system service whatever fuel system we are using carburetor fuel injection system right all this system will be seen in the last last two things are the lubrication system and the cooling system right those two are the integral parts of the engine without lubrication and cooling system we cannot run the engine right so in the case of the engine components we will see all the, all these processes the second part of the fourth chapter is the maintenance and overhauling of the drive lines now in case of the drive lines the drive lines consist of the components starting from the clutch to the differential right starting from the clutch to the differential and from the differential axle will pass the power to the wheels and tires so in that we will see the maintenance and overhauling of the clutch gearbox propeller shaft differential and the axles of the vehicle right so these parts will be learned in the drive line part as well next is the maintenance and overhauling of the different or various systems that is used in the vehicle in that first is the brakes will be seen for the maintenance the suspension system the steering system now suspension and steering system both are always interconnected so whenever we are trying to maintain one system or we are trying to repair one system then other system will have to be accordingly repaired so these two are interconnected so we have to keep in mind why whenever we are repairing either suspension or steering system the next thing is wheels and tires the next and the last one is the electrical system right all the electrical system and there are many electrical systems in the vehicles that we use nowadays right so the maintenance of that will be seen in that as well the fourth topic of the fourth chapter is the diagnosis causes and the remedies in that the common problems will be discussed that is faced by the drivers while driving the vehicle 
also the causes of the problems will be seen and the possible solutions of the problems will be discussed in this chapter the last part of the fourth chapter is the maintenance and repair of the vehicle body now in case of the vehicle body mainly there are two processes will be required that is first denting process and second one is the painting process for example somehow if we have damaged the body of the vehicle the outer body of the vehicle then there will be a dent on the vehicle so to remove the dent we need to do the denting process in that and the second thing will be after removing the dent if there are scratches or if the patch of the paint has been removed from there then the painting process will be done on that so that the we can not we can improve the condition of the vehicle from the outer vehicle body the last chapter is on the workshop management practices now in the case of the workshop management practices we need to discuss the documents that is required in the workshop right there are different types of document for example uh, job job card also the vehicle history sheet right there are many kinds of components or the records that needs to be maintained in the service station the second one is the duties of the workshop management right the duties of the workshop manager the duties of the technician the supervisor and right? all these things will be also discussed in the chapter as well so in this chapter you will know all the management system practices that is required to be maintained in the service station also the workflow in the maintenance uh, workshop will be seen from Uh, welcoming the vehicle in the service station and to giving the vehicle after repairing the uh, in the service station will be seen in this as well the responsibility of the management or the responsibility of the workshop management will also be discussed in that now at last i just want to tell you the books that is required for the reference for now i will suggest you the book that is on the automotive mechanics which has been written by the william krauss and which has been published by the tata megro hill so this book cover page of this book will look like this you can also get this book online as well so i would recommend you to have this book with you so that you can have the better reference of this subject in the next lectures we will discuss the first chapter so till then thank you